I need to be clear. Us getting back together, no matter how good all of this feels, that's not happening. All right, so this feels good. We split up for a reason. You broke my heart. Because I had bigger dreams than just being your arm candy. I've matured since then. Uh, but I need to be clear, too. I'm not the one who started this. You call me. Now I'm here again doing a solid for your father. Right. And I appreciate that. I have no agenda. Yeah, I guess you could say we've been doing some rebranding and expanding. Who is this chief pick looking nigga over here? He family. Mm. And this is where they're up in the rum shop. Hoping that you can let us clean our money in one of your clubs. Mm. You know, Mitch, I only get down with people I can trust. I was trying to get you on the ramp because no better way to start this show off with a good old basketball rant with the host of I Be Ballin' Basketball Show. Now, we was just talking about... <clears throat> how people are not really... What's the loyalty to, you know, when it comes to teams? Like, are you loyal to the team or are you loyal to a specific person? Yeah. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say names. I'm just saying, though. And then it got to the point where Ashley had to just go off and say some some of these players on some of these teams they not looking at it as a team it's it's a switcheroo they switching it's a it's a stock game like they like they in the stocks they ready to trade at any given moment some people are fans of teams some people are fans of players all i'm saying to uh, the players is mm -hmm. make up your mind where you want to go Exactly. When it go bad, you just want to switch, you know, and you have the right Tell to them. switch, but Tell them. Have some stability, some loyalty, you know, that they don't have loyalty. But, you know, I will say this person's name because I respect what he's doing. You know, Giannis, he's sticking. He's he's buck. He a buck for life. Like he ain't even thought about trading like. He's a buck. That's a loyal. That's a loyal person right there. A loyal Nuck player. You buck. Nuck, give you buck. Nuck, give you buck. I'm just being honest. It's my boy Giannis. He's the one. He's the one. Now people are gonna say, "Well, teams aren't loyal to the players." That's true. You know, that's true. However, speak on it. It's a game of life. Now you can go wherever you want to go, but I'm just saying, if I was a player, I would want to just, you know, stick to one or two teams. That's it. Don't just be hopping. Oh, this is my third team. Okay, this is my fourth team. This is my fifth team. Why don't you want to lay down some root? Just when it gets hard for a couple of years, you want to switch? Right. Oh, so, you know. Also, Garrett, uh, you're a Laker fan. Yeah, that's that's. That's great for you. But um, why are you a Laker fan? Are, do you just, you know, are you just with the crowd? Are you just with the crowd? You, you're not even a fan of your own team, Chicago Bulls. That's a bunch of bull, man. Get it? Bulls. <laughs> We have my great cousin Ashley from Abby Ball and Basketball Show. This my hat right here, Abby Balling. Yeah, that's me. I be be I be balling. And where did you get that made? Where did you get that made from? Is that custom? That's custom. That's you custom know, thing. my friend Tasha K. You know, she uh, has. Tasha. She has. You know, her line, the degree of excellence, she does, you know, make logos and make websites. Shout out to her. We got my cousin on the show with me, and we're about to review the two shows you see behind me, BMF and Bel Air. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, 
yeah, let's get into what 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 should we start with first? BMF or Bel Air? You choose. You're the you're the guest, so you get to choose. <clears throat> wow, I get to choose. Wow, okay. Uh, let's start with BMF because that ended, um, before Bel Air, so we can yeah. start with BMF. Good choice. Um, those two guys behind you are fine, you know, from BMF. Yeah, they fine. Meech, you know, little Meech. I don't know this other actor's name, but I've seen him in a couple of stuff. He died in it too, right? No, he didn't. Oh, because Meech was looking out for him. He, yeah, he, he, he had to leave, though. He couldn't hang around them anymore. Yeah, Meech was looking out for him. I it thought for sure he was going to die. You know who, why I stuck around to watch BMF? Because of Monique, you know? She wasn't in so many scenes, you know. Hopefully she's in more scenes next season. Yes. But she really did her thing. She did her thing. Yes, she does. As she does. Mm -hmm. And she had good chemistry with the with Terry and Meech. And you saw a little bit of her background with her sister. She had to, you know, really come to terms with her sister. There wasn't there wasn't medicines like there are now back in the day and they had they had to get her out and gone because they had to flee like they like look the sister like i don't even want to hold y'all uh, i just wanna <laughs> for that plug baby doll i'm gucci <laughs> like i'd rather be done than be on the run i'm like yeah i really like this she could have yeah, yeah. I think she was in pain. Yeah, she was in pain. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like the this new season. I liked how, you know, oh, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. Let's just get to it. I don't wanna plan it out. I just wanna say how I feel about this season. And right now, what's speaking of my soul is is um the relationship between Meech's mom and Meech's dad. Let's get to it. Let's stop beating around the bush. He got on my nerves. <laughs> he got on my nerves the entire season. <laughs> he doesn't deserve love. Okay, everybody deserves love. Okay, everybody deserves love. But not him, not in that moment. I don't care. I don't like him. And then I saw him on, aside from his character, he was like getting interviewed on Sway in the Morning. And I was still just mean mugging him. Like I'm like, I know that's not you in real life, but you really pissing me off. So I don't really care what a, what other else thing you got going on. But the dad really got on my nerves. He cheated multiple times. But yeah, I don't like him. And she, she don't need to take him back. But then she was upset that Meech knew and didn't say him. But it's just like, what what you what I look like telling you pops is cheating? Who who do I look like? I look like a fool. Cause now I'm into it with both of y'all. Like why you say something to your mama? Like I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not in a relationship. Y'all are. But but then now they're but he looked at his father a different way after that. Like it was a scene where when he was the daddy thought he was like Meech was gonna go off on him and stuff, but Meech was real as he has been this whole time smooth about everything, but you could tell he just kind of like didn't look at his father the same after that. Like when he caught him with them two little bean bops in the trip club, <laughs> he was like, you gonna tell your mama like you, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna tell your mama like. He was afraid. <laughs> like, nah, I got the upper hand. He should have made him go sell some Nope. <laughs> like, I'm gonna make me oh, some money. Wow. Don't make me some money. Like they doing over there at uh Ghost <laughs> when Kane was like, I'll run it now. <laughs> um well that's a different they need to get it together with these episodes. We we not gonna we gonna have a different episode with Ghost, but get it together. Okay. And <laughs> stars just stick with 50 Cent in all his shows. Like you're 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 gonna miss a huge bag if they ever left that platform. Cause it ain't too many other shows people watch on there besides P Valley. And that's it. Nobody watching, nobody's watching Outlander. We're not watching that. 
for <laughs> not watching that random shit y'all have on there. So if he bounced, we all bounce it. Okay? Subscriptions canceled. Gone. Uh. Yeah. Uh. He, they need to go over to Peacock or something. Go over there to Peacock. Then you over there with Bel Air. Hello, it's all coming together. You're you're trying to figure it out. Fifty, it's right in front of you. Wow, right in front it of you. It just wow. answered what you've been thinking about this whole time. Okay, ninety-one five percent. No, wow. I'm just kidding. Like, what? Right in front but, of your face. But yeah, how did you feel about? Let's get back to BMF. I went off. I went off the rail with that. But how do you feel about the relationship between Meech's mom and Meech's dad? How did that make you feel? Well, you know, you know, he always was preaching to his 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 sons and about what they're doing. But you know, he dropped the ball. Now he's, you know, the one, you know, sinning. You know, the thing. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. We gotta get to him next. Oh, yeah, Snoop Dogg was trying to get, you know, to, to the mama, you know, Production. but she was like, I ain't having that. But I didn't like that he did that, though. Like, why are you, come on now, you supposed to be the man of the cloth. But the preachers do be cheating on the first but lady. I thought, because, because how he came at the dad, at Meech's dad, I felt like when Snoop Dogg stepped to him, like, hey, I'm just letting you know, like, when he said, like, your wife did tell me, and he was like, don't talk to my wife or whatever. But it's like, but you now you're not looking at him as a preacher. You're looking at him as, like, a regular guy, regular man. So now it's two men talking instead of the preacher and, you know, the sinner. Because <laughs> <laughs> not that preachers don't sin, but I'm just saying, like, they weren't looking at each other how they were supposed to in that moment. And so, and then Snoop Dogg switched around and was like, oh, split the check. Like, oh, that's... Yeah, that was bogus. Like, really, Snoop? Like, you that's just... bogus. He said, split the check. I'm like, split the check? Because he ain't getting none. And you supposed to be, now, come on. First off, off rip, you should have just been paying for dinner just because, like, you the preacher, yeah. like. You know she work at Wendy's. You want, you want her to, to be a gentleman. Be a gentleman. Be a, just a great human being. Mm -hmm. She works at Wendy's. <laughs> you're a uh, you you a preacher. You probably get a little bit of dough. No, they ain't no millionaire, <laughs> but he could be. I don't know where he be pocketing that money. Where he be getting his money from? Because yeah, where is he getting this money from? You know what I mean. I don't know, you know. But uh, so he got some type of money, and then the lady. Oh, I thought the I thought the mom was gonna beat her up because she had like a skillet in her hand. I mean, I just I like just do just act like you about to do it, scare her a little bit more because woo. Everybody was in the wrong, you know. Because the mistress was just walking around, like, in the house, in the house, trying On to purpose. get busy. On purpose. She was like, when she was upstairs. Yeah. I'm like. That's disrespectful. You in the lady's house. And you walking around the lady, like, everything's all Gucci. And then the daughter. The daughter saw it too, like, oh wow, daddy doing this. Everybody turning on the father, like, mm. because <laughs> Meech done found out and the daughter, and she younger. And she was like all, you know, love, like loving her family, but then she started seeing some things and she like, I don't know how I feel about my family. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like mom's the only one who really cool to be honest. <laughs> She the only one doing good things. Right. Because even with me, she was trying to like sell some stuff through her job. And she like, dude, don't bring that over here. Like, <laughs> And then she looked at this, the uh, salon owner different too. Like, and the salon owner like, shit, we need money. Like, 
I'm like, dang, everybody need money. <laughs> like, it don't matter what job you have. You could be a, have your own business and still. I'm like, goodness gracious. It was hard times. But um, Terry, um, him and Lala. I know Lala, that's not her name, but forgive us. Like, this is how we know what. I, sometimes I don't know the name. <laughs> the sidekick. Um, yeah, my, <laughs> she was getting on my nerves a little bit because she too iffy for me. Like, what do you want to be with him or not? Like, what are you doing? Like, are you finalized with your marriage? Like, what's why? Because <laughs> he was trying to kill you. Like, so what's going on with that? Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and what do you saw? DC Young fly. He shot him at the end of the season finale. He shot him. And I'm like, I didn't know he got shot more than once. I thought he just got shot that one time. I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? I don't understand what's going on. Didn't uh, Lala and Terry's wife get into it on the show too? Yeah, at that banquet or wherever they was at. But I was getting into it. And she was getting a little weird too. I'm like, why is she taking bits and pieces of his things and I'm like, oh, she's been following him. She got a private investigator on him. I'm like, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> that's, that's what they do. Um, get some right. evidence. Oh, the guy he they got him strung out. What's his name? Um, the one who was stalking everybody and scared, terrorizing everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, the one that um. He had that dog, and he was, oh, and he killed the, uh... The baby mama. Yeah, baby mama, and the girl was on the phone, the child was on the phone, like, where mama at? Yeah, she knows something ain't right. She knew, because she saw him first. She was like, I think I seen him, and the mom was like, no, nah, you couldn't have, like, because they ain't know he wasn't dead. Was His like, name Lamar. Lamar, they strung him out on drugs. I mean, I, that was pretty. Everybody like <laughs> that was pretty lethal. It's like instead of killing him, yeah. get him just strung out on the street. That's right, because then they drove right past him, and he ain't even. He was. I was like, oh snap! Like that guy, he was living with. He had to do something because he he realized, dang, if he. The only thing he ever really truly loved was his dog, and his dog died. And then, like, he, but then the he even said it too. He was like, "You know, she's like one of the only people who really even cared about you or even loved you, and you killed her." Mm -mm -mm. So when he realized that, he was like, "I know he'll kill me. Like, if he'll <laughs> kill his baby mama that he was in love with." I know he'll kill me. Like, and he bossing him around in his own house. And, and I'm like, uh-uh. Because even with the dog thing, he was like, I don't know if I want a dog in here. He was like, it don't matter. He's family. We're like, but you don't know if this man got allergies or nothing. Like, like he don't care about none of that. I'm like, that's rude. Like, he said wonder, more life. Was like, he just scared of Lamar? Did yeah. Did Lamar have something on him? Because he was just getting treated like a punk and, you know, allowing it. He wouldn't even let him watch TV. He like, I just want to watch TV. And, and he broke the TV, I think. Lamar. Yeah, he was intimidated by him. The uh, detectives, they finally made love or whatever that was. was that like, was gross. We don't want to so see that with old people. I did not watch. I looked away. I didn't care. I'm not looking. I you thought he was old. a lesbian. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I'm like, I didn't need to see that. I didn't, I didn't care for it. But his son is going to jail or prison because <laughs> you intent, there's a motive. You had a weapon. You killed somebody. You're going. <laughs> <laughs> there is no loopholes who knows but and, that kid yeah he should have been around more you know yeah. he was just all about this my, at my work my work i gotta get some dirt you know and his son was left out to get burnt 
Yeah, that's true. And he kept ignoring, like, Dad, help me, help me. Nah, he, it's the father's fault. And it was his gun, right? The father's gun? Yeah. It was somebody's gun. It was, it was, um, Meech. I don't know if it was Meech's gun. It was, it was stolen evidence. Yeah. Was stolen yep. Evidence, yep. And he kept it in his closet. And then he was like, well, I yep. go get this back. I can tie these do 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 do. But when the when his son killed the dude with that gun, I mean the daddy gonna go down with him at some point because they're gonna be like, well, why did you have this? You know what I mean? So yep. And the department ain't gonna want to deal with that. They're gonna be like, nah, you can go. And the partner might gotta go too because you probably knew something about it. Would you ride uh Terry and his father's uh limo service? Would you ride? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Terry's nice. Like, he really does care about his, his job. I think he like it, but I don't think that was his first choice. Like, yeah. It wasn't the daddy. It was the daddy's dream. So, like, he doing it, but it's kind of like with the Meech situation. Like, he's selling and doing all this stuff, but I don't think he really knows who he wants to be. I know that sounds corny, but he's doing all this stuff because of what other people are doing. Meech want him to work with him. He do it. His daddy want him to use the money that ain't got nothing to do with him. <laughs> like, like, how you gonna tell him you didn't get shot? Like, <laughs> you get shot, you do that with your money. <laughs> like, I, I want to do this with my money. Like, and he didn't even get a chance to even do what he wanted. Like, and so I don't know. Um, I would I would ride the limousine service. I think it's really nice. I like Terry, but. You know, he's with, oh, dad, why did you cheat on mom? But you're the one cheating too. So it's like, what do you do? Right, like, yeah, he was the last one to find out. So it's kind of like, that can't even be the reason why you do it. Like, I seen dad cheat. Like, no, you were cheating before him. So <laughs> it's something else there. You don't really care about the baby mama because... <laughs> You was quick to move along. Like, she, I feel like he barely liked men around her already. Like, they weren't compatible. And then when Lala came around, like, they vibe, they could kick it, they could chill. He liked her kids. Like, I'm like, that's a connection. Like, I feel like he didn't connect with the other girl. And she was forcing it on. Like, even the mama was like, you got to be together. Like, but they, but he don't want to be with her. <laughs> like, but he, why you want to be with someone you don't? You know what I mean? She's trying to force it because we have a kid, we should be together. Like, no. no. <laughs> but that's so old school. That's back in what, the 80s, 90s? So then it's like, well, back then, every, that is the norm. Like, now today, people are like, no, it's, a, it's cool. Like, back then, they're like, no, you better work it out. <laughs> you better go work it out because there ain't nothing else out here. Like, you sure? Because... So I don't know. And then Maybe even her mama. 1950s. Little, yeah. And but even that girl's mama was a little mean almost. And that's why I feel like she was looking toward Meech's, Meech and Terry's mom a little bit more like because Meech and Terry mom is more like comforting, soothing. She can talk to you. And but her, but like the girl's mom was like very strict, firm, like a little bit scary. You know? I think that's another reason why she wants to be with Terry because she like really likes the family and she don't really have her own family. So it's like, I get it. But girl, he don't. You can talk a little about about the documentary you saw. Oh, the documentary, it's like you watched it. I still got to watch it. So what the documentary do, it's like, I feel like in between time, like while the season's off, that's what they let you watch. And it kind of, oh, the documentary helps with like confirming the stories and kind of like elaborating on them. Cause we all know like some of the stuff ain't true, but then some of the stuff is, but then a lot of the stuff is condensed and like the documentary kind of like spreads it out a little bit more um all of the all the real people are on it like the mom is on there um and the sister is on there i think the sister helps produce it i think she's a producer on there on oh. the show 
but yeah um that's really good to watch but it's a little i was scared at first because they were showing lamar and how he who he really what he really looked like and i was like but that that documentary confused me because then i was like wait he not it almost gave it a spoiler because toward the end they were like you know they were still talking about him like he was still alive and i'm like did he not die so but when you know later on when the show came out and he was in that hospital bed i'm like oh he never he didn't die the girl didn't have to die either but dude shot her in the head i'm like <laughs> but i know she they said she alive in real life like like some really? of the, some of the stuff is like not true so they might that i feel like when they kill certain people off and they're still alive i feel like it's them saying like in their mind they like they're dead to them. You know what I mean? You know, when you like don't talk to nobody no more, you're like, yeah, I'm dead. I feel like that's what they do when they kill certain players. Because the girl, Kato, she's like really alive. Oh. But she got some interviews out there. So I was like, I might watch one. But apparently, I don't know if you heard this, Vivica A. Fox is doing a movie called BMF. And. <laughs> What? <laughs> little Meech was mad and was like, what's this about? Who gonna be playing Meech? And um, Terry, the dude who played Terry, Da Vinci, he was like laughing at it, but he was like, I'll be Terry or something like that, like on some funny stuff. Just hilarious. She she gonna be in it. And uh, she said little Meech was hating on the project or whatever. I'm like, but that is part of his family, so I feel like he do need to be involved in certain stuff. <laughs> But like, why is Vivica Fox doing a movie called BMF? I I don't know. Do I, it stand for something different? No, it's still about like the family. I don't know how she's getting it approved. Somebody had to approve something. Is she mad at 50 Cent? <laughs> she always mad at 50 Cent. Because <laughs> they used to date. Yeah, I feel like they'd be in competition with each other. I'm like, can y'all just get back together? What are y'all doing? Did you have anything else to say about BMF. Uh, I saw little Zane in it. Oh yeah, little Zane. He did really good. So overall, good actors, good yep. script, and you know, Monique did her thing. Yep. And hopefully, we can see more of episode. I mean, seasons. I'm not sure how far they can go, but they can keep going up till now. To be honest. Cause and they do, the yeah, they do make stuff up, yeah. All right. Had to take a break. Welcome back. Uh, we had to pay some bills. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we got done talking about BMF. Now we're going to talk about Bel Air. Hey. In the his time. Um, I like how his style is still like a swag. You know what I mean? Like they still dressing him fresh to death. Like he did in Fresh Prince. Um, since I started with BMF with the whole relationship with the parents, let's start with them here for Bel Air. Okay. <laughs> it don't matter if your family from Detroit or Bel Air. Problems happen in relationships. And this is a this is a 2.0 3.0 type Uncle Phil and and uh Aunt Viv. This ain't your your OG Aunt Viv and and, and your OG Uncle Phil. These these are modern day Uncle Phils and Aunt Vivs, okay? Because ain't no way OG Uncle Phil would ever even look at another woman, let mm -hmm. alone kiss her and then have the nerve to 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 talk to Jeffrey like he done lost his mind. <laughs> Jeffrey said, hey, hey, you know, Jeffrey be smooth. You look, hey, brother. I'm like, who is this dude? 
<laughs> he always suited and booted. You ain't never seen a lint on him. He's like, hey, brother, he be depressed as hell. <laughs> Still working for the family. They don't even care about him like that. The only person who really care about him is like Will and Aunt Viv. <laughs> like, everybody else be about their business about him. They be like, whatever. Get our bags. He don't even cook. What is he there? He's a bodyguard. What is he doing? Jeffrey, he does everything for the family. Because when he was fired, it was like... Yeah, Jeffrey was the one that did the shopping and nothing yeah. in the house. Like, none of y'all go to the store? Like, that's crazy. Like, y'all don't go to the store? Let me go pick up something real quick. You're nuts. Ain't no way he did all that. And y'all talking to him crazy. In one episode, Carlton said he get his underwear dry cleaned. And I'm no goodness well you ain't making Jeffrey go dry clean your drawers. But Jeffrey was like, hey, hey, brother, hey, brother. You know, he was like, watch out with women like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then and then Uncle Phil gonna say some. I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. You you know what you're doing. He about to, they about to go to a hotel room. Okay. Because She's doing too much. She played the whole game and he saw it. She came to the house trying to act friendly with Aunt Viv. Oh, hey, yeah, I just became off. I came off on the wrong foot. I know we, mm -mm -mm. we sorority sisters from back in the day. I love you, girl. And Viv was like, you was hating back in the day, too. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't like you then. Didn't like I don't like you now. What is wrong with these women? And Aunt Viv a little dopey this season. Like, are you serious? <laughs> She's like, I got my eye on him. Like, I feel like she be fronting. Like, if you really don't know, tell us. Because we will tell you. Like, she trying to act oblivious so when Michael Ely come back next season, she could have a reason. I'm not. <laughs> all y'all are tripping. I can't stand them. I can't. Because she damn dear was about to cheat first season. And then she going, and you know, Uncle Bill stepped in like, hey, hey, hey. And she's like, why did you show up here? and support me in my dreams like I've been asked. She be up in the air when she a little bit too iffy for me. Support me in my dream. And then I feel like, yeah, he do need to support her because he do be treating her like a little second wife. Like, <laughs> oh, just don't, you ain't got to work. Just stay at the house. And do what? She don't even go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, you do everything. That's why her and Jeffrey got along so well. He wasn't doing nothing either. He got all his groceries delivered. He didn't go to the store either. Jeffrey and Vivian would actually make a great couple. I was thinking that, and I'm like, I hope. But maybe that's why they set it up like that, because Jeffrey didn't have to be there. <laughs> why was Jeffrey at the office? He got an office, too. Why? <laughs> why does he have an office? He don't do anything. The only thing he do is, like, I think he's a bodyguard, because he be saving y'all lives. People be disappearing and all that stuff. And then even with the situation with Will and the basketball thing, he was like, I'll look into him. What are you, a private investigator? Who are you? <laughs> Does he work for the government? What is going on? He got a job like Tommy do on, on Martin. It's like, but what do you do? Like, I see him. I see what he's doing. I still don't know what he's doing. <laughs> you ain't got no job. He ain't gotten it. He's getting paid to be a friend. <laughs> oh, man. And he knew what Carlton was the up to. Real Housewives. You said what? And he knew what Carlton was up to. Yeah, he was like, sooner or later, people are going to find out. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and the parents was acting like they did not uh, even know what was wrong with Carlton. You live in the same house, he's your child, and you didn't know he was on drugs for years. Two years. Can we say something? This is why I'm saying, I'm not, I'm, this is why I'm saying this is a different version of Aunt Viv. Why are you picking up your son? Wasn't it raining? And you're yeah. stuck in the middle of nowhere. He don't know where his car is. That didn't give you sign number one. <laughs> <laughs> to revisit this thing <laughs> like what is going on and then he Carlton was right when he was confronting his dad he was like you I'm not the son you wanted 
Right. That's and so he was sad. right because he because even Uncle Phil was like, "Damn, you right." And then and Viv even looked at him like, "You do treat him like that." Like, Mm-mm-mm. They hugged at the end, but really, they need more than a hug to repair that relationship. You need way more than a hug. You need way more. You all need intensive therapy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going? Because something's rooted with Uncle Phil too. He's like, I worked hard. I gave y'all nothing but everything I never had. Like, I'm like, oh lord, they done heard this before. <laughs> I feel like you remind them that same story a lot. My thing is, Carlton needs help. The mom is dubious because she's so in the clouds of her career. She don't even know how to be a wife or a mother. <laughs> she's just trying to be a that next big thing. And I get it, but my... Like, you are not paying attention to the signs on the road. Your son was at in the dark, no car, no clothes, half no clothes on. And you're not concerned at that moment. You're shocked when he says it in a speech. And that's the and like, thank God he said it. I would imagine if somebody else was to, to said it, that'd have made it even worse. Why didn't you tell us? Like <laughs> can't win for nothing. He can't win for nothing. His father don't care about him. His mama is her head's in the clouds. <laughs> Will, he got to look over his shoulder because he keep getting himself in some crazy situations. And leave that girl Jackie alone. She going, I don't know what's going on with her. Well, he's with Lisa now. But I don't like how that summertime played at the end. Yeah, that was Drums, cool. I was like, aww, now that's what I'm talking about. But then I'm like, ooh, but then Carlton might get upset. Because <laughs> they be, I don't like that they made it that he dated her. Like, why did that have to be? Like, to create more tension and drama between the couple. It cousins. was naturally always going to be tension with him and Uncle Phil. Because it's like, now it's just too met. Now it's, we going to have to see, they going to have to fight about her at some point. And we all know if they keeping up with the story that Will and Lisa do get married. So is it, he going to snap then? Like, like, what are we doing? He got to learn how to cope without the drug. There's going to be pressures in life and situations. He's going to have to, you know, Go to rehab, you know. But the dad's going to have to work on himself because he going to still snap at some point. And if he feel like he can't handle his son, he going to go cheat on Aunt Viv. Oh, <laughs> nobody understands me but you. Like, I'm not ready to see that. That's how it's about to play out. Something going to happen where he ain't feel like nobody going to be there for him. He gonna hit she going to be just so happy to be up at 2 in the morning. Come on over. I'm up. Oh, candle lit everywhere. Like, come on. He rock walking right into it. I just feel like there's nothing in their marriage that should cause them to cheat so far. Like, <laughs> I could see if it was a real bad situation, but it's not really a right. bad situation. You guys got into a couple arguments. That's about it. Right. You know, they haven't gone through anything real serious, you know, to cheat, you know. So like I'm, he feels like he he doesn't support her dreams. That's it. <laughs> that could be a deal. That could be a deal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but to cheat, I don't know, man. You keep calling uh his phone, Jeffrey's phone. Like he's like, yeah, keep calling unblocked. I'm like, oh, I'm no. thinking somebody kidnapped his son in London, or is his son in London? Being mad at Jeffrey. I don't know. I don't mm. know. Is it Jeffrey's baby mama that had the boy in London? Yeah, I don't, we don't know who she is. I don't know. I want to know when is, are they going to introduce us to Will's mom's boyfriend? Because remember she gets remarried or she gets married. And then Raven Simone played the little girl. Played the. Oh, um, that's girl. funny. Yeah. Raven. Yeah, that I was. Gotta watch that episode. I'm gonna watch that episode later. She was like, I'm not down with OPP anyway. 
That was funny. I do like that the situation involving the basketball team got situated. Um. Yeah, because I'm like, y'all dragging this out a little bit. I really don't Yeah, care. I don't think it was that serious. <laughs> it wasn't that serious. This right, happens like, all the time. Like, what are, what does this even matter? Like, they even the dudes was like, we get it. Like, you're trying to help, an, you're trying to help us out. Like, uh, and you're trying to get some money while doing it. You know, it happens all the time. Yeah. And I feel like Will could have, you know, go on overseas or something like the metal ball, if that was the case, if, you know, they got in trouble, you know. And I don't know. I just feel like Will is so angry all the time. When he should just be on the court, you know, get your frustrations out on the court. He just uh, so quick, angry. You brought up overseas and I, somebody had brought up, they were comparing, um, I think it was Fat Joe maybe, about John Morant and Allen Iverson. Now, um, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> and basically he was like that's what they did to ai they sent him overseas but then charlamagne the guy on the breakfast club was like but that was years after ai's career he didn't go straight from the nba to the overseas later on he decided to do that but but basically they're saying okay if he's trying to get kicked out of the nba or whatever maybe he needs to go somewhere else maybe he should be in a do you think he would be good in a g league or some overseas like what if he if he really trying to fumble this bag but he still want to play basketball is there still a chance for him to play because I feel like the NBA is like hanging on to him by a thread they're like look you got about one more they giving him three strikes at first I didn't get it I'm like why are they giving him two chances that's weird it's the third strike there he got one more time to they're giving him more chances because he's a popular player and he's a popular superstar and he could go overseas if he messes up. I think there's a great chance that he's suspended for the whole season mm. or at least 40 to 50 games. Because but they say he's the star player. Like, they would lose if they did that, like, terribly. They wouldn't be a contender, but they'll probably still be okay. They play good without him sometimes, too. Oh, but my God. I don't understand John Morant. If you want to play with guns, go do it. But don't do it publicly. Right. And it's like, it, it's almost, it, it's like he thinks he's like um, invincible or something. Like, oh, I got this bag already. Even if you kick me out, I'm still a millionaire. It's like, but they don't want to collect because you're not fulfilling the contracts. Yeah, and then you can lose sponsorships like Gate, no. I think he's with Power Aid, and he gets did, put out a Nike work? shoe. Like when, like okay, let's say they're like okay, you're out, but he's not. He's not no longer playing in the NBA. Do those contracts like with Gatorade still stand? Because why are they signing him? Are they signing him because they like him as a person, or like are they just signing him because what they will probably doing? cut him off? Yeah. And I mean, they cut Kyrie off, and Kyrie wasn't with drugs. He was just mm. saying certain things without saying certain things. Mm. <laughs> there was like, what do you believe in? It was like anti Semitic stuff, mm. and he wasn't clear on what he believed. But mm. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with John Morant. And it's like, I thought he was a family person and stuff. So shouldn't the mom and dad, you know, say something to him? You know, it's not. I used to watch his um YouTube. He got a YouTube um channel. He still posts on it. I think he posted like a week or two ago. But some of those videos be like old though. Not they're new, but it's from like months ago. Not that's how now. Michael J. Rain Rainey Jr. records his like. He'd be like in an expand of time. Like he gonna be. I think he turns twenty two this year too. So I think his party gonna be crazy. But he, I, I compare their blogs because they're they're kind of the same. Like John Morant also like it could be different days, like you said. Like, but it'll be all in one blog. It'll be like a long blog, like twenty minutes or thirty minutes, and it's just like 
showing him in the gym, chilling with his family. And that's why I'm really confused. I'm like, it seems like he just be chilling with people, but when we see him, it'd be something else. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, you showing us one thing, but then you showing us another. I'm like, I'm like, everything, you ain't got to record it and then post yeah. it. Like, what are we doing? But I think one, one of them was live. So I'm like, what are you doing? You yeah. don't need to be on live. Like, and his friend has to go on live. <laughs> As soon as the friend saw the gun, he went off live like, oh, snaps. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what you're doing, Ja. I don't really care at this point. I made a video about, you know, how we should give him one more chance, like Biggie. One more chance, you know. But now it's like months later. And I kind of... You didn't know. (laughs) I kind of knew he wasn't really sincere and sorry but it I didn't was scripted. Think he, was- he was like, I know I did a bad thing. You'd be like, oh my God. Like, just don't go to the interview. Just don't go or don't have it in your head. Now he wrote another one. I don't know what that's. I don't have my phone, but he apologized again saying he was sorry. And I'm like, just stay offline. Like, we just need you to stay offline until you talk to the team. You need to figure out what they're doing with you. Forget us. Forget the people online. You need to handle that shit over there. Because <laughs> they about to drop you. <laughs> and we can't do nothing about it. We just common folks, okay? We don't have millions of dollars. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, we could help you with that. But It's like they have a gift and they want them to ruin it. I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. Watch, watch her John Moran video. Okay, so Bel Air, and we can wrap it up. Oh, Coco Jones, Hillary. I would have stayed with Lamar. Keep doubling Sister. back. <laughs> Stop doubling back. But then that means he would have to go back to jazz. But you, listen, I don't like that ex boyfriend because one, he's tall. I don't, you know what I mean? You're taller than Jazz. I don't like that, okay? Um, I But really, he had spoken to um, uh, Will on the side when they had that little party or whatever. I forgot what they were doing. Um, but he was telling Will, like, yeah, I'm going to get back up in that. Like, do you know who I am? I'm family. <laughs> like, why don't talk to me like that? He talking to him like that's one of his homeboys or something. He like, yeah, I'm about to get back up in that. That's her cousin. Did he say those words? Yes. Yes, I will look it up. I thought he would just no. say, I'm not going to make another mistake. Like oh, I that's good. You like him. No. <laughs> he ain't saying nothing nowhere near that. It's all or nothing for me. Which is why I'm not going to stop until I get Hillary back. What was that? I thought y'all was like, you know, cool like that. I mean, that's what I told her. I'm playing the front row for now, but I'll get back in there. When I do, I'm not letting her go again. That's crazy. That's crazy that you're like, no, I thought he said he want to marry her. No, he didn't say that. No, not marriage. Just not mess it up again. Just like Jazz was like, I messed up, you know, I was. No, because the mama know what's up too on the low. That's why when Hillary was sitting in between her mama and her dad, she was, you know, they was going back and forth. Like the mom was like, you better make sure he supports you and what you want to do. And the dad is like, well, I mean, if he provide and I'm like, oh my God. like <laughs> That was mainly about their relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it kind of, it kind of, made sense because Hillary trying to find herself but like now this dude coming around like let me let just follow me everywhere and now you're gonna be even more lost because now you're gonna drop the house that you've been working so hard for which I don't know why like <laughs> like <laughs> and, and 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 then it's like okay you dropping everything for this dude and, and and he made how many mistakes? I don't know. Y'all not debriefing that, but the family love him or whatever. 
But Jazz make one mistake. Now it's like, oh, I don't know if I could do this with him. Like, that's kind of crazy. I think um, they're eventually going to get back together, but it has to be some drama, you know? She probably went with LaMarcus because she's scared. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Not you because depicting like, her going to him like oh. she probably shouldn't be with nobody because she, no. she it, her heart was broken by Lamarcus and her heart was broken by Jazz so she probably was like I'm gonna go with Lamarcus because it it's not a fresh wound you know yes. you, okay you know, Ashley she decided to go with the wound that was less fresh. Like, Jazz is still an open oh, wound okay. and it's still bleeding. It's still no, bleeding. Makes sense. And now, LaMarcus is like a scar, but it's it's sort of he healed was. already, you know, and it's scabbed. Really go back out there. I'm like, dang, you only got, it's, you live in California and you only got two options, you're nuts. <laughs> There's like a, billions of people here. Ain't no way you stuck on these two and you live in Beverly Hills. Ain't no way. Are they in Beverly? I, I forgot what they said. Bel Air? Bel Air. You live in Bel Air, a gated community. And you ain't found no one yet. That's crazy. But and isn't her, her whole her whole job is social media, too. Yeah, and so she went off to Paris. Jazz tried to get her back. She's like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, oh, okay. Like, damn. And she was like, standoffish. I was like, okay. okay. You gonna do that to my boy Jazz? Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, don't act like you wasn't falling over a hill. I don't think she really was. I think, let's be real. I think he liked her a little bit more than she did. And when somebody else came around, she was like, I actually liked him a lot. <laughs> and, and like, I was kind of settling, but now nah, I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead, do your thing, buddy. I'm about to go out the country with baby boy. <laughs> You're like, dang. Like, yeah, we going out the country. You could have lied to him and said, like, we're going down south. You know, oh, we, <laughs> oh, we have to go to New York. No, he said, she was like, we're going out the country. I'm going to Paris. Like, Damn. Can you Will was Paris? the one that told where he where she was at. Yeah, because like, you, got, you still got a chance. You still got a chance. Go go get her, Jazz. Right, because yeah, he can. The other dude can take her to Paris, but like, can like what else can you do? Because when all that's said and done, then what? What else can you offer? Now we're we're in Paris. Then what? But yeah, like you said, she's just. It's healed, so she's going back to him because she liked him more. I think she just liked him more. And she was she didn't know who she was. She don't know who she is still. This is why the whole argument between her parents it makes sense. Because like like when she went to um meet Jazz's parents, she dressed up as a whole different person. <laughs> why do you have that on? Take that off. She was she was trying too hard. Because she doesn't know who she is. Why would you show up like that? <laughs> and then she gonna tell them about their culture. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and they didn't even want to talk about that. They was like, yeah, so shit. And then she gonna say something. Did you know in 1915? Like, man, nobody want to talk about that. <laughs> and that's wrong. You got that off the Wikipedia. It's actually 1930 we started. Mm. I'm like, how are you going to sit there and tell them about therapy? <laughs> hush, hush. You sound like a Google. You were like Google? It sounds like that. It sounds like you Googled it and you came over. <laughs> and then you looked up images to see how to dress. I'm like, can you? So she don't need to go to Paris. If she went for herself, fine. She's going back because he said he going. I'm going, come on. Okay. <laughs> but when jazz jazz like hey stay let's let's talk things out she's like no i'm good so that's why the mama said that and the daddy's like no i bumped that because he liked the other they all like the other dude more and it's just like 
But yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, I think something. Um, I think you brought it up at one point about Ashley and that girl, the classmate. And I didn't realize. Oh, did I realize that though? That girl told on the teacher. She said she didn't. But she's the only one who even cared. <laughs> like I didn't. You, if they wanted to throw us off, it would be another teacher hating. But it's really the girl, the only one saw them every day after class to, for her to even make that, for that to even be addressed. Because mm. Ashley wasn't saying nothing. Mm. And they showed every time class left that that girl will always stay back looking mad. I'm I don't like, know. What is her agenda? What is she going? Why is she around? Do so you think she's just pretending to be Ashley's friend? I think she's going to make her fall i think they're gonna fall in love or something and then ashley gonna get hurt because then she's gonna find out you did tell on my teacher why would you do that because she's racist <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but, no, but, but she liked the teacher but i'm like but you know the consequences of this like you know what state we're in like you know what like how this shit work like y'all not goofy you're not like oblivious to the reality of life <laughs> like you know what you say you know anyway but um Tatiana Ali appeared and I love how she's giving her younger self advice I love it I love it I love it, I love it. yeah that's dope um they need to do the same for Hillary because Hillary don't know what she's doing um, oh wow but Hillary didn't know what she was doing either she was kind of the goofy person yeah she was chasing the guy too Trevor, but his name was Trevor. Um, and I'm just like, but they gave her a little bit more. The new Hillary, a little bit more like character, like okay, they're giving more smart. Little... Yeah, um, and uh, they had the light skinned Vivian with oh, the yeah. other Vivian, so that's cool. She came back. She came back. And um, I'm glad she made an appearance. I love that. But you know who I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the OG Aunt Viv. That needs to be Aunt Viv mama because she needs somebody to talk to her. <laughs> and ooh, she needs to bring on the sisters. Like who's going to play her sisters? Because remember she had Jennifer Lewis. Uh, yep, yep. The Will's mom. Well, okay, that's the one sister, but we haven't met all of them. Yeah, they need to bring on the sisters. They can bring back Marlon Wayans to play his daddy because he even, like, acts in the bottom again. So I think he might come back. Bring back the real Carlton. Yeah, how are we going to? Okay. When he go to rehab, when the Carlton go to rehab, then they can bring the old Carlton back and be like his, you know how. His mentor or something. Yeah, because you know how when you're um, alcoholic, they mm -hmm. send you to AA, and then the AA person has someone else, like a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, I would like that. See, we giving them ideas. We should get, get, get you know, some. They not uh, even paying the writers. Money. They ain't going to pay us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the writers are on strike because they're not getting paid. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> because of the streaming like um you know how when you stream music and then you see on your money you be getting like pennies to the dollar it's like that but with move like their tv shows it's a lot of shows that are on pause because of that and i'm like y'all need to get it together wow um i know the guy from uh tommy from power he was out there in chicago right now they out there striking um because that's where they film Force. They film that in Chicago. Um, but that's coming out. You, I know you want to watch that. You're yeah. like, I don't want to watch Force. But don't it's, force it. <laughs> it's a good show. I feel like if you ain't got nothing else. Maybe one day I'll try it. You're one gonna, day. I think that about power and now she's with Ghost and Raising Canaan and Power didn't really start cracking until maybe the third season. It didn't. It's really boring in the beginning. So I, so it's like, and you it's lose too slow. audiences. It's too slow. They drag everything out. You're gonna lose audiences, you know, if you do it. That That's why I feel like this 
ghost season, past season, they've been like, boom, boom, boom. Maybe the first two episodes, you were like, what's going on? And then they're like, bang, 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 bang. You're like, what's going on? And then now they're hinting toward ghosts coming back, but it's like, somebody was like, I don't even want him to come back now if it was a possibility. I'm like, y'all don't know what y'all want. <laughs> Hey, want him they to come need back. To give him his money. They need to give Omari his money. This, come on. 50, you just sold your catalog for 50 cent music. So what are you doing with that money? Besides trying to buy BET, brother. You hey. need to send some of that money to Omar. He's the old, he's the whole reason people even tune in to watch all these shows. Power is the one that started it all. He deserves his bread. I'm sorry. He deserves his bread. Yeah, and he got it. Like, you know. 50, and we'll get interviewed. I'll interview y'all. Because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bel Air was pretty good. Hopefully, they come out with a bang. They get some, bang, 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 bang. some help. Because Carlton, you know... There's some like rooted issues, you know, that he needs to work out. Maybe father and son therapy because Ooh. some of it has to deal now, with they the father. Separate. They need separate and family. They need both. Because <laughs> <laughs> you ain't about to just keep talking over me. That's why they need a mediator. And it can't be Aunt Viv because she don't know what to say either. Just everybody stop it in a second. You be like, girl, nobody's listening to you. The husband, like, all right, well, just whatever. Shut it down, like. Pay Jeffrey to do it. Pay him some more money since he do everything <laughs> else. Pay Jeffrey money, like. I'm like, you got some nerve being mad at Jeffrey. He done saved y'all lives. <laughs> um, I do like Bel Air. Um, I, do, I am glad Will and Lisa got back together because I didn't like that little beanhead kid. I didn't like him. I didn't like him from the, but he looks exactly like how Jeffrey's son looked on Fresh Prince. So I'm like, is he related to him? Because he looks just like him. I was going to say he looked like one of T.I.'s kids, the one that don't really. Oh, the call. oldest? Yeah. Uh, you know, he they call him uh, his name Red or something. He, he do music. Yeah, like produce it. Yeah. What is his name? muddy red or something like that he's really good I, i've um added some of his songs to my i like to switch out my music and one time i added one of his songs he's really good he's really good um damani harris i like damani music too um what about that young kid is he his music That's King harris? i think he made that i i don't know i haven't tried i can listen to it i could do a review on it but I ain't never heard his music before. I just know Damani and and the other dude. T.I. ain't even came out with that. Well, did he? I think he's doing comedy, right? Stand up. You heard music Soul Child raps now, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Love. Thank you guys for tuning in with BMF and Bel Air. Tell us in the comments, you know, if you watched either show. Um, what was your favorite part of the show? Let us know. This BMF is on BMF is on Stars and Bel Air is on Peacock. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Um, shout out to 50 Cent, shout out to Will Smith, their whole production, cast crew, pay these people. We need shows because the world is crap and we need to be entertained. If we don't have entertainment, we don't have our freedom of mind to uh, relax because we are emotional creatures and we need to be <laughs> entertained because just imagine you're just sitting and nothing to watch because no one's paying these writers that's insane that's like having no music in the world no shows in the world it's vital to the human race your trip <laughs> thank you to my cousin ashley I be balling basketball show on YouTube. Subscribe today. Get your life. You want to see highlights? You want to hear some funny stuff my cousin says about these basketball players because they rather play off the court more than on the court? Go to her channel. You better look right. I be balling. 
double hat. I be me, I be falling. Hats are for sale. Let's do this. Let's go big. I be be, I be balling, and I got t t shirts. You feel me? You got t shirts. <laughs> Thank you.